that opens up complexity to. God. Bulba, Bulba, Bulba. For seven seconds, they will get Kyle the last hit, but they have successfully pushed him out of lane, but Fear dives under the camera tower and gets first blood on Temu in a one versus one matchup. My god, it's good that he got that because he only has four CS to the port. Artesia yeah. yeah. has regen for days as well. He's the medic at this point. Just give me that Buddha restoration. Limp, oh my god, the double raise. Meanwhile, Chessie, they'll get the kill onto Misery down bottom. A nightmare, but look, bottom lane. Complexity. Try to make something happen here with the Arctic Burn. They've got the Enchant Totem. He's going to use the call. They avoid it. He has Fisher available for Kyle. Spins coming out plus Battle Hunger. Can he get another spin? Kyle, he's actually going to stay alive as the Fisher comes out at the perfect time. And plenty of damage done from Chessie and Z Freak. So, Shadow Fiend. Yank or anything like that, but. He gets mana burn oh. once or twice, so we won't have mana at all. Arteezy will try and get Arctic Burn. Now Smell's coming in and Kyle has to He gets the call off in time. There's Battle Hunger. Race comes out, Raindrop, but uh, he's dead to Battle Hunger one way or the other. He will get dropped down. And Smell will do it with an auto attack. So just a little bit too aggressive. Now, this allows them to go for something mid. However, they're going to find an distance for Kyle. The Enchant Totem coming in. They'll jump at the Fisher. Comes out the Scream of Pain as well. The Buddha Restoration. Sonic Wave hitting onto two. They have cast back up in one. They need to the split their blast. They'll find it, but it's not enough damage. And Frit now, he's the one caught out and killed. But can they turn this around? The cast will continue to bounce, but they will not find it on Kyle. And Complexity will be able to get back up to the high ground. Yes, they get a kill on a support, but it is just for quite a long time. He's only halfway through his duration. He could try to find a stun on the limp and maybe secure this kill. Ooh, good blink just in time. He sees Arteezy trying to dive the tower. He knows there must be an next assassin. He actually was under the tower and he was spotted by the vision, I believe. But he was able to blink out in time. Ooh, rotating, looking for a one, might find Rizri, and he gets off the spike carapace in time, but still in a lot of trouble. Wild axes, the Necrobook one. That's a big kill to start off the spike, but now Deep Freak someone getting chased down instead. Up under the high ground with the Arctic Burn. Now they're gonna blink with the one. They want a Sonic Wave. Our Jesus is trouble now too. Sonic is coming out. They want this kill. The Sonic Wave blows him up. And that will be a big two for nothing advantage there for Complexity in that fight. And at least this is good for Complexity. They only have two heroes here trying to put some pressure on this Dirty Tower. But they have found Limp and Fear jumped in. They actually had the Center Conqueror stomp ready. I'm pretty sure he just waited for the, the pop to blink and then Centaur yep. Conqueror stomp. Packed up. Freak might get fish. Oh, uh, Winner's Curse keeps Arteezy there. They actually don't have enough damage to kill Kyle yet. They didn't get any spins, really. He's still in trouble. There's the Echo Slam onto two. Crit getting low. Arteezy actually took down the on the back line. There's the Calling Blaze. And despite them Winner's Cursing Arteezy and trying to find something, Kyle couldn't really help out with his Fisher because he's the one that was called. And there, maybe the Lincoln's here, but even that isn't really going to help you that much. I mean, yeah, Chessie's not going to die. He hasn't really been dying in the first place. Look at this up top. You can just blink in casually. Can't really use much on him because, yeah. EG are just straight up running at complexity right now, trying to take down the towers. Fear's getting low, he still has the A, just doesn't want to use it just yet. The Buddha Restoration will keep him alive for now, so Mr. Blast on the thing. And this is going to be a tier 2 tower, and the only thing Chessie could do is just farm bottom. And uh, in the meantime, Misery's also dealing with mid too, so... Moo is just getting run at. Arteezy has an SMY, the perfect run at you item. Smell trying to find the calling blade, there's the battle hunker. He won't dive the 2 or 3 tower though. Coming in from behind is going to be another target. Limp. Limp. They know where the clop is. There's the impale. It's going to hit one race. They're going to find a second as well. Is it going to be enough spike carapace? Not going to be uh, procced, of course. Already gone out. So he will follow it up. Uh, you need the really perfect team fight from Flex. Sitting there down this much goal. 10,000. Moo is going to be called out. Jump in. There's the call. And we'll get off the cold embracing. And the winner's curse, but RTZ should be fine. Fear is on the back lines. So just knocking down Kyle. And we'll take down move first. Kyle will also get dropped by Fear. Looking for another, it's going to be Z3 getting chased down. Trying to juke and jive. He's Arctic Burn actually up in six seconds. Nice juke, but it's only going to keep him alive for a moment longer. Call is there. They will use it. Double kill for each Fear and a dominating spree for them as well. So three dead, and EG are trying to just put the finishing touches on this game as they work on this tier tower in the mid lane. This game was a massacre. It fell, uh, feels like it fell. It became so difficult so quickly. Right. Roshan died, two Link Daggers picked up immediately afterwards. I don't know what they can do, honestly. Like, uh, Shaker Blink Dagger is probably their best meta. I mean, but. the only thing Chess has been able to do is just been foot pushing at this point. Sonic Wave hits onto Fear. He still has the age of surprise man up. He's actually going to be dropped finally. But Chessie now called up. Still at the shifting. Going to get raised twice. Pretty tanky, of course, with the attribute shift. Fear's gonna back himself up. They've taken the tier 3 and the melee racks. Fear has the enrage. He's gonna use it. Gonna try to turn on the limp instead. Sunil gets the call right onto oh. Chessie, but not on the limp. And Fear now might fall. Echo Slam coming in. This is a good fight for complexity so far. Now Sunil might get dropped next as well. Adaptive Strike, one more auto attack, and it's going to be three dead for EG. And they will hold for complexity. 
They are, he knows they're missing from this jungle. Where are they? Only Ursa to the Roche, though. Right, they don't want to walk into the pit because that... They see fear now. Back the problem. smoke is broken. There's the echo. The back lines. That heads on to shoot the fish along with the waveform. Sonic Wave. That's the combo they've been looking for. Complexity will take a 2 nothing advantage in this fight, and they're going to try to find more. Potentially Roshan, and now if you're EG, you have to regroup and get back again. Sumail has the blink call. They might want to go for this. 20 seconds. Three versus reasons. five. There are a lot of creeps in that Roche pit. Sumail has been spotted, though, by Z-Freak. The Arctic Burn. Blink now put on cooldown. He also has a Yule Scepter. Roche is getting lower and lower, and it doesn't look like EG are going to be able to contest this in complexity. A great team fight, a great echo slam from Kyle turns it around. And now things are even up. Uh, they've taken all the outer towers, they've taken a tier 3 and the melee racks. Tom, probably gonna die. I think. In like two minutes. Uh, he gets the first bash too. That's not even fair. He couldn't even get the glimmer off before he died. Want life's not. That's true. Fear will secure the kill. He's trying to chase. Misery has blinked up, spotted him, and pale. They have the battle hunger. Yule Sifter will go through. He Battle Hunger breaks the Lincoln Spear. The call will come out nicely done, but he is strength morphed at this time. Now Smail needs to be careful. In fact, he might just get caught and killed here. He's he's in the death zone at this point. Right in the middle Chessie of the has no damage at all. Yeah, they're trying to fight though. He'll blink himself out of trouble here. It looks like they get off the cold embrace to save Chessie's life, but a good blink back from Smail to keep himself out of trouble after the call came through. It was sad when you get called when you're in the shaker combo. You can't get chain stunned. You can't get chain stunned to block all the damage. Blade mail, Chessie's been caught, there's the impale, they've break, broken the Lincoln Spear, but again, they just don't do any damage. No spins coming up for Smell. There's the adaptive strike to cast. Lint gets a kill on the other side onto RT, they're fighting in the back line, and they will actually secure a one-for-one -one trade. They will drop the gem, Fear's trying to chase Kyle down. One will help me raise the Agnes after going to work, Kyle has another Fisher. Winner's Curse in the back line, Chessie coming in with a waveform, they're gonna get a kill onto Fear, about to drop down, one more auto attack. And Link will secure a double kill. Not only that, they might find Misery as well as Nyx and Dashman. But out there's the Enchant Totem. They blow him away with God. pain. And all of a sudden, Fear are feeding one by one. And EG, Sumail, he's got thrown now. Limp pops the BKB. You get the call off. Sumail is going to yield himself up. He gets dropped back down. Fisher waveform. And a fourth kill for Complexity. And all of a sudden, they almost wipe EG in that fight where it was split into two for the majority of the acts, making sure they couldn't get involved. And all of a sudden, they're pushing this tier three tower. You have buyback on fear. Arteez is back up in 10. They might just lose this tier three and then complexity can back up, but they will still lose the tier three at the very least. They may lose more depending on how long complexity wants to stay, but they won't back back up. Not trying to get too much. It's shrine time. Shrine's next as well. And they've pretty much evened it up. In terms of they're on their way, they have, the refresher refresher. They have all their too. abilities. This is a big fight because, like you mentioned, the refresher shard is there. Misery will go for the impale and find the glimmer cape. They'll drop the sentry down. Roche is low. Is it dead yet? They'll jump and lift. Looking to find it. RTZ can see it. There's the extra yeah. one. Through the red room coming out. Chessy wait for me doing some serious damage. Sonic wave on the two. The death board. RTZ still fighting fish. They're going to fight this. They get off the cold embrace in time. A double kill for RTZ. Winner's curse comes out. Fear might fall, but he's so tanky. He's not doing enough damage. RTZ will finally drop his own teammate down. It's a four for two trade. Complexity are actually winning this fight somehow. RTZ is going to die twice potentially moo no roar aegis is now gone they have the gem on the deck they're gonna try to find him limp a little bit low he has to blink himself out or get it up getting dropped moo doing some serious damage along with z free they're going to work they need this kill Ortiz will take one and he's standing his ground but it will still be a team wipe plus aegis gone for evil geniuses complexity somehow taking that fight with a huge into the beef master for that purpose exact like look at this this is Thon here. They missed the Fisher though. Adaptive Strike there is slow though. Scotty's slowed down though. He might be in trouble. Echo Slam keeping him in place now. On the other side, Limp's getting caught out. There's the Abyssal Blade. Ethereal Blade comes out and blows up here. And now RTZ is going to be next to the oh He will not save him. The Roar came out afterwards and that is too much. Three dead. Crit now on the run. Kyle has no Fisher. He just used it. Limp ready to go with another Shadow Strike. Crit actually jukes up to the high ground. They won't find him. A nice juke play there, but the problem is fear. No buyback. He's dead for 63. Arteezy has one. He doesn't want to have to use it, but he almost certainly will. Otherwise, this game will end. And in fact, the game might just be over all right now because of that last fight, which was it insane. honestly might. Be. Shadow Fiend buyback is not the strongest yet. Souls afterwards. And they get crit on top of it. He is dead oh. for 53. No buyback available. Chessie will grab the rack. They'll grab the tier 3 tower in the bottom lane. Complexity. It looks like they might have done it. They might have brought this game back from a 10k deficit. Now up 5k, but more importantly, up Mega Creeps, it looks like, potentially. Sumail will take down one. That is Chessie getting dropped. That is actually big. They might keep this alive for now. They might keep their Rex in the mid lane. 
Also secure. Limp looking for Smell. There's the Yule Scepter of Lords. The Shadow Strike. Zeefreak is really low trying to fight at this point. Does he have the Arctic No. Five seconds. Limp continues to jump in. Jamail in trouble. He's going to go down to the Soul Burn. Misery is going to be next. He'll have to use his Vendetta. Limp has to bling himself out of trouble. Z-Freak. They might have spotted him in the tree line. He's going to go for the Golden Brace and the Spear Vessel. Getting raised twice. There's the Impale. A triple raise plus an auto attack. That will secure another kill. And Complexity so close to taking Megas, but they get dropped on Chessy, one of the most important heroes. He dies solo. Last to be... Yeah, yeah, nothing. They, I mean, even okay. with those, he Look at this. this is the problem. He has no buyback. He is going to get roared, and oh, that no. might just be the end of the game. Just yes. like that. That is going to run down it. Yep, there's the. <laughs> <laughs> He's drawn it. No, let's go. It's time to finish this game off. Kyle is happy. They've taken down RTZ dead for 100 seconds. Of course, no buyback, as he just used it. The only play for EG now is they're going to try to split and go for this Rax in the bottom lane, potentially. They could come back and try to defend, but they're defending four yep. versus five. And that's they're exactly coming back they're anyways, because they won't win the race. They need a big call. They need something big. I'm not sure what it's they're going to be. They're smoked up. Maybe this they're is it. They're going to try to find something here with the two They'll jump in there. That's all they want to get this kill. Chessy alive for now. Good call to brace the Sonic Wave coming out. Fear is alive. He's doing fine. They're going to get off the Winter's Curse. That'll be on to Nyx Assassin. Misery. Fear is in rage. is done now. No BKB the waveform. They're going to drop him dead for 85. They just fought back on Smell, but everybody else is dead. It's four for nothing here for Complexity, and it oh is G God. and Complexity with an amazing comeback here in the second game of the day. They will move on, they will play up against OG in the upper bracket finals of the group stage. I was extremely well played from Their early game was so good that they were unable to close out the game. Yeah, you know, they 